After United's FA Cup triumph over Everton on Friday, manager Eric Ten Hag made eight substitutions and gave 17-year-old midfielder Kabi Mainu his debut. However, this did not derail his team's momentum as second-half substitute Marcus Rashford continued his stellar play with a late double, 90-94, in his spectacular cameo, the England international, who has now scored 15 goals this season, scored for the sixth straight game and the eighth time in a row at Old Trafford. Earlier, Anthony's superb left-footed long-range strike had given United the lead, 21. Division 1 The hosts completed their ninth straight victory at Old Trafford as Charlton, who eliminated Brighton in the previous round, sought to tie the score in the second half before Rashford's goals but lacked flair in the final third, following Wednesday's Carabao Cup quarter-final match between Southampton and Manchester City at St. Mary's, which will be broadcast live on Sky Sports, the semi-final draw will take place. How Man United made it to the final four United only secured their place in the semi-finals as the game entered stoppage time. But it may have been more convincing if they had converted on one of the early opportunities that superstar Alejandro Garnacho produced, after cutting inside from the byline, the Argentine created a chance for Diogo Dalot, but the defender, who had to leave the game in the first half due to injury, blasted over from a decent position. Then, twice, Garnacho attempted to strike out on his own. The first time, after cutting in and firing a shot just wide, he dragged his attempt wide. However, United scored their first goal in the 21st minute from the right. They moved the ball around the field before Fred found Anthony, who created space with his left foot of choice before beating Ashley Maynard Brewer to the top corner, 10 minutes before halftime. The excellent Fred watched his 30-yard free kick crash into a post while Maynard Brewer was watching. The hosts were only inches from from doubling their advantage, Albie Morgan curled a free kick over before Tom Heaton had to make a diving save on Sean Clare's low cross with Corey Blackett Taylor waiting to seize the opportunity. Charlton was urged on by 9,000 traveling supporters and manager Dean Holden, a devoted United supporter. The visitors made a good second half start as well, and 76 seconds after the break, Scott Fraser had a golden opportunity to score but missed with a left footed attempt. Anthony Alanga had a goal disallowed for a clear offside, but Charlton kept up the pressure, and after an hour, Ten Hag brought on Rashford, Case Moreau, and Christian Eriksen because of their influence, this season 3. Assisted United in taking control of the game and they had opportunities to end it as Garnacho brought out a flying save from Maynard Brewer. Who also dove low to block Eriksson's attempt, after Rashford had been set up by debutant Facundo Palistri in the 90th minute, the inform forward eventually scored the second to seal the victory after Case Miro had put him in scoring position, after winning the competition in 2017 under Jose Mourinho. United advances to the Carabao Cup semi-finals for the third time in six seasons thanks to the victory, Ten Hag, Man United is improving, but they need to be more methodical, Eric Ten Hag. The manager of Manchester United, I felt fairly happy for the first half an hour. That I wasn't being clinical in front of the goal made me less delighted. We created decent opportunities there in the first half hour, so we need to be more productive there. We should have scored more goals in the first half, and there was a good stop in the second half, and there were a few times when we needed an additional pass, but we didn't, so we had to battle for it till the end. Although I don't believe they produced very good open opportunities, you never know. Having won 3-0 for the third time since the winter break, we are making progress, but we still need to be more decisive. Ten Hag spoke on Marcus Rashford, saying, I have told you many times. He will score in the one-on-ones in the box when he takes himself into position, when the team puts him in the positions, and that is what he is doing at this moment. Therefore, if he maintains his attention and efforts, he will continue to score. What you see with Rashi today, it is fairly evident. It wasn't at the beginning of the season, 
but now is the proper time for him, Holden, the final score was severe, Dean Holden, the manager of Charlton, said, I'm proud of the performance and the manner we represented our football club both on and off the field. We relied on luck for the first 20 minutes, but whose Premier League team doesn't have to do that? We developed our game. We had a significant opportunity early in the second half, and I believed we had the game under control when I looked to my left and saw Eric putting Rashford, Case Moreau, and Eriksson on. To be very honest, I felt that the result was unfair, but I am proud of the effort. Eric invited me into his office after the game and spoke highly of our young players, which makes me very proud. Ten Hag showing Pep correct as the rebuild progresses. As their team's revival under Eric Ten Hag picks up steam, Manchester United supporters will have noted this date in their calendars. Even if it might be too early to predict, given that Manchester City is still in the running, it would take guts to wager against United winning the Carabao Cup next month, even though Ten Hag's team just defeated Charlton, who are currently 12th in the third tier of English football, they have now won eight straight games overall. Nine straight victories at Old Trafford. In recent weeks, United has unexpectedly hauled itself into the Premier League title battle and is still in the running for three cup competitions, with Ajax, Ten Hag won six trophies, including three Eredivisie championships. However, leading United to Carabao Cup victory in his first season would rate as one of his best accomplishments and should also not be undervalued. It might serve as the impetus for silverware of more significance. After all, it was Pep Guardiola's first significant achievement as manager of Manchester City. Since then, he's won eight more, a win at Wembley would also increase Ten Hag's leverage and serve as a symbol of the advancements he has achieved since taking over as United's manager last summer. Despite Ten Hag losing his first two games in August, his win percentage is an amazing 74% after 27 games, higher than Guardiola's after the same amount of games with City. In his brief tenure, he has already taken some significant decisions. They have thus far received justice, even while there is still a long way to go in this historic campaign. United finally appear capable of snapping their six-year trophy drought under the methodical and uncompromising Dutchman. In October, Guardiola declared that United would return. Ten Hag is demonstrating his old colleague's point after a run of 15 victories in 18 games following a 6-3 loss at the Etihad. The two Manchester club's Premier League matchup on Saturday is now considerably trickier to predict. Teenage Maynou performs admirably on debut, Kabi Maynou, a 17-year-old midfielder for Manchester United, had a historic night as he played in a Carabao Cup quarter-final for the first time, the adolescent from Stockport became the ninth United player to make their debut under Ten Hag and Charlie McNeil, the Dutchman's first academy prospect promoted to professional football, during the World Cup break. Maynou, a member of United's FA Youth Cup winning team from the previous year, scored in. A friendly match against Cotties. Maynu has also played for England at both the U17 and U18 levels, before being replaced in the 60th minute, the youthful player held his own against Charlton alongside Scott McTominay and Fred. He was not scared to receive the ball under duress, and United supporters rightfully gave him a standing ovation as he departed the field, the future of Maynu at Old Trafford may be promising. On Saturday at 12.30 p.m., Manchester United will play their rivals Manchester City at Old Trafford to resume Premier League play. Eric Ten Hag's team will then depart for Crystal Palace at 8 p.m. on Wednesday before taking on Arsenal at 4.30 p.m. on January 22 in a match that will be broadcast live on Sky Sports. The next League One fixture for Charlton is against Barnsley at home on Saturday at 3 p.m., followed by a trip to Peterborough on January 21 at the same time.